I remember when I was a little girl, my father, Michael Nordstrom, would tell me stories about the city I currently lived in and how it used to be farmland filled with dairies. He told me about the memories he had walking to school, passing by the dairies. He saw calves being born and cows being milked. Each way he looked, agriculture land was surrounding him. This environment shaped his childhood, and I was disappointed that I was unable to have a similar experience because of the urbanization that is happening in California. To understand urbanization, we must first look at the history of it and why it is an issue and how we can solve it. A vital part of understanding urbanization is first gaining the background knowledge of the issue. The early United States was predominantly rural. In the 1800 census, 95% of the population lived in the countryside. By 1890, industrialization had produced substantial growth in cities, and 35% of Americans lived in urban areas, mostly in the northern half of the United States. The number of Americans living in cities did not surpass the number in rural areas until 1920. By the 1990s, three out of four Americans lived in an urban setting, and in 2000, the acreage per farm was 337 acres, then decreased to 301 in 2010, according to the U.S. Census Bureau Statistical Abstract of the United States. The current amount of agricultural land in the world is 944 million out of the 2.3 billion that is available. That is only 41% of land resources allotted to the industry that provides our, all our food, fiber, and shelter. Now that we are aware of the history of the issue, let's discuss the issue as a whole. Urbanization is a developing issue that is personal to me because of the urban area that I grew up in. There's a significant dependence on the minimal amount of rural area and the 2% of people in the agriculture workforce. There is a growing population that is supposed to reach 9 billion in the year 2050, and the farmers and agriculturalists must rise to the occasion and fill the hungry bellies of the humans and livestock everywhere. To be able to rise to this occasion, farmers need the resources that are required in order to feed the world. One of those resources is sufficient and sustainable land. Also, by 2050, it is predicted that 64.1% of the developing and developed world will be urbanized. These statistics prove that urbanization is an important issue that needs to be recognized. I have talked about the history of urbanization and the importance of the issue itself. Now the question is, how can we solve this issue? In this situation, the damage that has been done cannot be reversed, but we can slow down the rapid urbanization and utilize the city land for urban agriculture. An organization that is already implementing urban agriculture practices is Growing Power, founded by Will Allen. He has developed crop production and sustainable agriculture in large cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, and Milwaukee. He does this by making community gardens and facilitating workshops to educate consumers about urbanization. They also hire community members to keep money in the community and ensure food security. Urbanization is a serious issue that hits close to home because of the environment in which I grew up. This issue must be known and solved so that when I am fortunate enough to have a family, I don't have to just tell them stories about the beauty of agricultural land, I can actually show them.